Harold Harriquell is a former Australian Association football player who played for Leeds United, Liverpool, Galatasaray, Melbourne Victory, Algarafa and Melbourne Heart. Internationally he has received 58 caps, and scored 17 goals, while playing for the Australian national team. A winger, also capable of playing as an attacking midfielder and as a second striker, he is often regarded within the media as Australia's finest football export, despite his career being blighted with injury. Quell scored a goal against Croatia which took Australia through to the knockout stages of the 2006 World Cup, the Australian national team's second World Cup. He is a member of the executive committee of the Australian Professional Footballers Association. Quell also has a British passport through his father's heritage. Former Middlesbrough midfielder turned pundit Robbie Musto named Quell as one of the greatest players he had played against but questioned his consistency and attitude after his initial injuries. Former German international Michael Balak has also highlighted Quell's ability and inconsistency. On July 12, 2012, Harry Quell was named Australia's greatest football player in voting by Australian fans, players and media, at a gala ceremony in Sydney. Quell has represented Australia at the 1995 FIFA U-17 World Championship, the 1997 FIFA Confederations Cup, where Australia finished runners-up, the 2004 OFC Nations Cup, which Australia claimed for the fourth time, the 2006 FIFA World Cup, the 2007 AFC Asian Cup, the 2010 FIFA World Cup and the at the 2011 AFC Asian Cup, where Australia finished runners-up. Biography, Harry was born on the 22nd of September 1978 in Sydney, Australia, to an English father, Rod and an Australian mother, Helen. Quell received his early schooling at Smithfield Public School and secondary schooling at St John's Park High School before transferring to Westfield Sports High School. During his time at Westfield Sports High School, Quell played at representative level for both school and club competitions. He played in the New South Wales Youth League representing the under-13 to under-15 Marconi Stallions teams, coached by Stephen Trelow, while also attending other specialised training with the NSW Junior Soccer Academy, coached by David Lee. Early career, at the age of 14, Quell travelled to Thailand, Italy and England with the successful Marconi under-14 team that had recently won the state titles. The team played games against the junior team of AC Milan, as well as apprenticeship sides in England. This was the first time Quell had been out of the country but provided him his first taste of football in Europe, having also attended a Premier League match for the first time as a spectator. At the age of 15, Quell was offered the opportunity to travel back to England and trial with Premiership Football Club Leeds United for a period of four weeks as part of the Big Brother movement in Australia. Quell travelled to England with his future Soxaroo teammate Brett Merton. Both were successful during their trials at Leeds. However, only Quell was able to take up the club's offer due to his father's English heritage, which satisfied the visa requirements. Leeds United Quell played for three seasons in the Leeds United youth team. His first game for youth team was against Sunderland in 1995 and scored his first hat-trick against Rotherham on December 7, 1996. Quell was handed his first team debut at the age of 17 in a 1 Euro 0 home defeat against Middlesbrough on March 30, 1996. In 1998, Quell was part of the Leeds United youth team that claimed the 1996 a Euro 97 FA Youth Cup final and a 3 a Euro 1 aggregate win against Crystal Palace. The first goal he scored for Leeds came sometime later, in October 1997, in a 3 a Euro 1 League Cup victory over Stoke City. Around that time he was flatmates with Leeds goalkeeper, Nicky Byrne, who would later become a member of boy band Westlife. He was sent off in the Leeds United Galatasaray UEFA Cup 1999-00 semi-final match. Playing mostly in a left midfield role and in attack, Quell became one of Leeds' young stars in a troupe of highly promising youngsters, eventually playing alongside fellow Australian Mark Vidyakar. In the 1999 Euro 00 season, on the back of his most successful season at Leeds where he also won PFA Young Player of the Year was selected in the PFA Team of the Year, Italian Giants, Internazionale, 
had unsuccessfully bid a £25 million for Quell but Leeds rejected the offer citing his value to their side. The high point of this period was when the duo helped Leeds to the semi-final of the UEFA Champions League in 2000 Euro 01. However, the club began to suffer financial difficulties and, by 2002 Euro 03, having sold many of their best players, Quell and Vijakar's efforts in front of goal merely delayed Leeds' slide from being relegated from the Premiership. Quell's efforts at Leeds United gained him international recognition for his talents. He scored 45 goals in over 180 appearances for Leeds over eight years. Quell left Leeds under acrimonious circumstances. In an interview given to the BBC shortly before his move to Liverpool, Quell lashed out against the staff at the club stating that the medical staff worsened his injuries and that his teammates had ostracised him. Liverpool, having rejected more financially enticing offers from Milan, Chelsea, Manchester United, Arsenal and Barcelona, Quell moved to Liverpool for the start of the 2003-04 season. Quell was handed the famous number no. 7 shirt, surrendered by Vladimir R. Angstrom Miser. Quell's transfer was highly controversial because it was alleged by former England captain, Gary Lineker, in an article in July 2003 that a significant portion went to Quell's unregistered agent, Bernie Mandick to ensure that he ended up at Anfield. In a related matter, Quell sued Lineker in 2005 for defamation of character, but, with the jury unable to agree on a verdict, the parties had to settle out of court. Quell made his debut for Liverpool in the opening game of the 2003 Euro 04 English Premier League season, a 2 Euro 1 home loss to Chelsea on August 17, 2003. Quell scored his first ever goal for Liverpool in a 3 Euro 0 away win over great rivals Everton in the Merseyside derby with a great first time strike. Quell completed his first ever season at Anfield equals second with Emil Heskey by scoring seven goals. 9 behind Michael Owen as Liverpool's top goal scorer for the 2003 Euro 04 Premier League season. Quell also finished as Liverpool's top scorer in the UEFA Cup, scoring goals against Olympija Ljubljana, FC Stoa Bikareti and PFC Levski Sofia which ended Quell's season total of 10 goals. Quell kicked off his 2004 Euro 05 season very poor, not scoring a goal in his first 14 games even though he had injury problems and finally scored his first goal in round 15 in the Premier League in a 1 Euro 1 away draw against Aston Villa. That was Quell's only goal of the season in the Premier League and overall, it was one of his worst seasons ever. Quell started and played in the 2005 Football League Cup Final and the 2005 UEFA Champions League Final. On May 25, 2005, Quell became the only Australian-born player to win the UEFA Champions League, playing in Liverpool's win over Milan in the 2005 Champions League final on penalties. Quell was controversially selected by manager Rafael Benitez ahead of the defensive midfielder Diet Muhammad, signalling the club's intent to attack from the outset. The gamble proved unsuccessful, and an injured Quell was substituted early in the first half with a torn abductor muscle. Liverpool were losing 1 Euro 0 at the time and Quell was infamously booed off the pitch by Liverpool fans with many suggesting he had faked the injury. It also emerged during the summer of 2005 that Quell had been playing throughout the season with an undiagnosed sports hernia, also known as Gilmore's groin. In November 2005, after recovering from the injury sustained during the final, Quell spoke to the official Liverpool website saying that he had a strong desire to repay his manager Rafael Benitez for showing confidence in him by fielding him in the Champions League final. He also thanked his wife and friends for the support shown to him while he recovered from injury. He also restated the severity of the injury which had forced him off in the final and told his doubters that they were misguided to question the severity of his injury. Quell's form for Liverpool in the 2005 Euro 06 FA Premier League season showed what he was truly capable of, scoring goals and plenty of assists, lending support to his assertion that his prior mediocre performance was the result of poor health rather than apathy. Quell scored his first league goal at Anfield in over two years when Liverpool beat Tottenham Hotspur 1 a Euro 0 in January, 
he was also the only scorer when Liverpool beat Manchester City 1 a Euro 0 at Anfield and scored the last goal in a 3 a Euro 1 win over Derby rivals Everton just under a month later in one of his best displays of the season. Quell was also one of Liverpool's best performers in the FA Cup semi-final win over Chelsea which Liverpool won 2 a Euro 1. Quell played in the 2006 FA Cup final, only to be substituted in the 48th minute due to abdominal pains. It was later confirmed by Liverpool that he had torn a groin muscle, but was expected to be fit for the World Cup. On April 30, 2007, Quell made his comeback after almost a year out of club football. He came on as a 55th-minute substitute for Liverpool reserves in a mini-derby against Everton reserves. On May 5, 2007, he came on as a substitute in the second half of Liverpool's match against Fulham at Craven Cottage having not played for Liverpool since his substitution in the 2006 FA Cup final. On May 13, 2007, Quell came on as a substitute in the second half against Charlton Athletic in the last game of the Premiership where he scored his last ever goal for the club. Speculation on whether he was to be selected in Liverpool's upcoming Champions League final in Athens rapidly became positive for Quell after providing an excellent game against Charlton. Quell provided a cross in for Dirk Coote to assist towards Xabi Alonso goal and then scored a penalty on the 90th minute. He played in the Champions League final in Athens, coming on as a second-half substitute for Balduic Zenden. Liverpool lost the final to a Euro 1 to AC Milan. Quell was injured for the start of the 2007 a Euro 08 season, and he faced an uncertain future at Liverpool having suffered yet another injury which sidelined him for the first month of the Premier League season. Quell returned as a substitute in Liverpool's League Cup victory over Cardiff City on October 31, coming on in the 71st minute. He then came on as a substitute in the Premier League and UEFA Champions League against Blackburn and Benic Tally respectively. After his return, Liverpool manager Rafael Benitez stated on the club's website and to other members of the media that a new contract for Quell to continue his career at Anfield was not out of the question. Many believed that if Quell could stay injury-free until the season's end he would be offered the chance to remain with the club. Quell found himself unable to make the team after Liverpool's FA Cup defeat to Barnsley. Benitez revealed that Quell was in extra training with the reserves in a bid to win a new contract. His chances of a new contract were hindered however, when seeking games and match fitness, he travelled with his national team to play in a game against Singapore. Quell returned to England with a groin strain, unfortunately leaving less time to prove himself worthy of a new deal. His first goal of the 2007 a Euro 08 season was for the Liverpool reserve team in their 2 a Euro 0 win over rivals Manchester United. Because of injuries, his future at Liverpool was uncertain. In May 2008, it was revealed Quell had turned down a new contract at Liverpool. Galatasaray, on July 5, 2008, reigning Turkish Tsar 1 quarter per league champions, Galatasaray, signed Quell to a two-year deal, and he was presented with a number 19 shirt. He said I wanted to move on and this is the best way. I can't wait to get started, it's just what I'm looking forward to, a new challenge. Quell's transfer to Galatasaray provoked strong criticism from fans of his former team Leeds United as he was a Leeds player when two of their fans were killed in clashes before a UEFA Cup semi-final against Galatasaray in Istanbul in April 2000. Quell responded and in an open letter he stated I chose the No 19 shirt when I signed for Galatasaray SK as a sign of respect for Leeds because that was the number I got when I first became a regular member of the Leeds United starting eleven. I felt that it might be a way to demonstrate that I had not forgotten where it all started and I was hoping that in a small way it would help the healing process of the tragedy that occurred on April 5, 2000. To blame the Galatasaray club for the tragedy in Istanbul is simply wrong and discriminatory. Quell made his debut for Galatasaray in the Turkish Super Cup where he came on as a substitute on the 66th minute scoring his first goal for Galatasaray just 20 seconds later with his first touch in the 2 a Euro 1 win over Kaiser Iceberg, while also providing the assist for the second goal. His second goal for the club came in the first league game of the season against Denizlispor, where Galatasaray won for a Euro 1. 
On October 23, 2008, Quell scored the only goal in Galatasaray's UEFA Cup win over Olimiakos. A week later Quell played in Galatasaray's first Turkish Cup match where they drew 1-1 one one with Ankara Spur. On November 2, 2008, Quell scored his fourth league goal in Galatasaray's home win over Gazi and Tepspur, after a week full of overwhelming speculations in the Turkish media about his injury. Following medical consultations in Australia, it was announced on December 12, 2008 that Quell would need surgery to repair an inguinal hernia, and the operation took place on December 15, 2008. Of the nine games that Quell had scored in before his injury, Galatasaray had won them all, including two UEFA Cup games, six league games and a Turkish Super Cup match. In a UEFA Cup round of 32 match against FC Bordeaux, Quell scored a goal from 35 metres out, bringing the score to 2 a Euro 1. Galatasaray ended up winning the game and proceeding to the round of 16. On March 12, 2009, during the UEFA Cup round of 16 match against Hamburger SV, Quell had to play as a centre-back for 40 minutes after the sending off of teammate M. Rana plus or minus K, but managed to fulfil the role adequately despite playing out of position. In the second leg of the round of 16 clash he was again played as a centre-back, scoring a penalty whilst doing so. In the 2009 Euro 10 season, Quell scored 14 goals in 28 matches in all competitions. He netted nine times in 17 league appearances, playing as the main striker in most matches due to an injured Milan Baroa. In a 2009 Euro 10 Turkish Cup playoff Quell scored in a 2 a Euro 1 win against Bikaspor on October 28, 2009 to put the side into the group stage phase of the tournament. Finishing on top of their group, Galatasaray were eliminated at the quarter-final stage against Antalya Spur. During the 2009 Euro 10 UEFA Europa League qualifying rounds Quell scored Galatasaray's second goal in a 4 a Euro 1 away win against Israeli club Maccabi Netanya on July 30, 2009. Quell would then score in a 5 a Euro 0 win against Estonia's Lidia Delane on August 20, 2009. Galatasaray qualified for the group stage phase. On October 22, 2009, Quell scored in a 4 a Euro 1 win over Dinamo Bikareti in Istanbul. In the return leg on November 5, 2009 he scored after 22 minutes in a game which resulted in a 3 a Euro 0 win to Galatasaray. Galatasaray faced Atla copyright Tico Madrid in the 2009 Euro 10 UEFA Europa League knockout phase where they lost 3 a Euro 2 on aggregate to the eventual champions. On August 15, 2009, Quell scored two penalties in a 4 a Euro 1 home win to Denis Lisper. Almost two weeks later on August 31 he scored a goal after 74 minutes in a 2 a Euro 0 away win to Ankara Spur in round 4 of the Turkcell Zar 1 quarter per leg. Quell scored his fourth goal of the campaign in a 4 a Euro 3 win to Trabzon Spur on October 18. Two weeks later he scored in a 2 a Euro 0 win to Shivas Spur at home on November 1. By round 13, Quell scored his sixth goal of the Turk Selzar one quarter per league in a 1 a Euro 1 draw to Manizaspor on November 22. Two weeks later on December 6 he scored after 56 minutes in a 1 a Euro 1 draw to a degree Stamble Barbie just five days later in an away game against Antalya Spur, the game was locked at 2 a Euro 2 until after 67 minutes Quell broke the deadlock to win the match for Galatasaray 3 a Euro 2 on December 11. On December 19, Quell would score his ninth and final goal for Galatasaray in the 2009 Euro 10 season in a 1 Euro 0 win to Gina Section Leblayeri where he netted on the 77 minute. In January, fellow Soxaru teammate and captain Lucas Neal would join Quell at Galatasaray after he was transferred from Everton. Under coach Frank Ricard, Galatasaray finished third on the 2010 Euro 11 Zar 1 quarter per league table and qualified for the 2010 Euro 11 UEFA Europa League third qualifying round, where Quell's contract with Galatasaray expired after the 2009 Euro 10 season. On July 16, 2010, it was revealed that Quell had rejected an approach from A-League side Gold Coast United in favour of staying in Europe. Galatasaray offered a new one-year contract, but it is believed that Quell preferred a longer contract. On July 19, 2010, 
Galatasaray announced via its official website that the parties had agreed to a one-year extension of Quell's contract. On July 21, the details of Quell's contract were revealed. He would receive a lump sum fee of a 1.8 million and a salary of a 30,000 per match. It was also revealed that Harry would wear number 99 for the 2010 Euro 2011 season. Quell scored his first goal of the 2010 Euro 11 season in a 1 Euro 0 win against Gazi and Tepspur on September 14, 2010. Quell scored his second goal of the season against Boeck Tai in a 2 Euro 1 loss on November 29, having been down 2 Euro 0. Quell scored for Galatasaray after 90 minutes. Quell opened the scoring after 27 minutes as Galatasaray beat Casa plus or minus Mpala 3 a Euro 0 on December 5, 2010. On February 7, 2011, Quell scored Galatasaray's third goal in a 4 a Euro 2 win against Eski Ali Herspa. He was substituted off the field after 63 minutes for Milan Baroa who would then score Galatasaray's fourth goal. Following a solid but not sensational season at Galatasaray there had been continual speculation that Quell could be heading back home to Australia, with the Newcastle Jets reportedly a keen investor. The interest in the Sox Rue coincided with Nathan Tinkler buying out the Novakustrian club in late 2010. Quell scored his last goal for Galatasaray in a 3 Euro 2 away win against Gina Section Le Blyne on May 15, 2011. On May 19, 2011, Quell's wife, Shiri Murphy, posted on Twitter that Harry would play his last game for Galatasaray against Coney Espy because no contract had been offered to him. Galatasaray finished in eighth spot on the Tsar one quarter per league table with 46 points as Quell scored five goals in 20 appearances for the 2010 Euro 11 season. Quell was a fan favorite among Galatasaray supporters. His working discipline and dignified personality were appreciated by his teammates and board members in Galatasaray as well. He was described as fully professional with a charming character, always smiling and dedicated to his family. His nicknames at Galatasaray were Bar One Quarter Yar One Quarter Car One Quarter Harry meaning Harry the Wizard and the Wizard of Oz. 2011 Transfer Speculation On June 4, 2011, it was reported that both Quell and Lucas Neal had been offered contracts from newly promoted Premier League club QPR. On June 5, it was revealed by the Sunday Age that Quell's manager, Bernard Mandic, informed Football Federation Australia that Quell was considering an offer from Melbourne Victory. Melbourne Victory chairman Anthony DiPietro and several other directors met Quell at St Kilda restaurant Café di Stasio in a bid to bring him to Melbourne. Quell's management was understood to have wanted a percentage of any increase in membership and merchandise sales that Quell would likely to deliver in Melbourne. According to media reports, Quell was keen to spend more time with wife and their three young children, after playing with Turkish club Galatasaray for the past three seasons while his family was based in England. Di Pietro said that Quell was about to holiday with his family and had indicated he would seriously consider the Melbourne victory offer. It was then reported that Quell was on the verge of signing for Melbourne Heart, however the club were not prepared to meet his wage demands. Quell's management had requested $2.5 million a year, a percentage of gate takings, a beachside home, two luxury cars and that Quell could personally select players for the team's 23-man playing roster, although these demands were refuted by Mandic. It was reported that both Sydney FC and Newcastle Jets were also chasing Quell's signature. On June 25, it was reported that several clubs were hoping to lure Quell to Australia and Adelaide United chairman Greg Griffin said that his club would not stand in the FFA's way if a deal a Euro even with fierce rival Melbourne Victory a Euro required an additional kick. On June 28, it was reported by Fox Sports Australia that Eddie Maguire said Quell would be officially presented with a Melbourne Victory shirt when the Melbourne side would face Scottish side Celtic in a friendly at AAMI Park on July 13, which proved untrue. On July 5, it had officially been reported by the Sydney Morning Herald that Harry Quell would not be playing in the 2011 Euro 12A league season, stating that it was all about the money. One day later an article was reported on SBS's The World Game website that Harry Quell's manager, Bernie Mandic, 
had explained why an innovative proposal to bring the Soxaroo star to the A-League failed at the final hurdle and that Mandic claimed that Football Federation Australia's Head of Corporate Affairs and Communications, Kyle Patterson, had made Qua look like a greedy villain by misrepresenting the facts on July 7, the Australian stated that there had been claims that Melbourne Victory and Sydney FC had signed him. On July 9, the Courier Mail reported that Football Federation Australia would not bow to the demands of Quell's manager but were confident that Quell would be an A-League player by the time the 2011 a Euro 12 season would begin in October. On July 10, the Sydney Morning Herald reported that Quell proposed that part of the money he received to play in the 2011 a Euro 12 A-League season would be used to build an academy to nurture talented and disadvantaged youth. Having reported that Quell said he remained uncertain about whether a deal could be reached to play in the A League next season and was disappointed that he had been portrayed as greedy. The Age reported that despite Quell's stalled attempt to finish his career in the A League, his exasperation was disappointed and even a little bit sad about what had happened since he showed some interest in returning to Australia to play in the A League. On August 4, ABC Melbourne reported that after patient negotiating with Quell's agent Bernie Mandick since June 2011, Melbourne Victory had given Quell an ultimatum to sign by that Thursday or to find somewhere else to play for the 2011 a Euro 2012 season. Quell reportedly asked the club for an extension to consider his position when his management had contacted Melbourne Victory on Thursday night. The club granted Quell and his management three days to decide whether he would accept the complex deal that would be consequently withdrawn by Melbourne Victory after the deadline. Melbourne Victory On August 20, 2011 it was announced Quell had signed a three-year contract with A-League club Melbourne Victory. Melbourne was hyped up with Quell fever with many hundreds of fans welcoming him at Melbourne Airport and over 2,000 fans attending AAMI Park where he was given his number 22 jersey by chairman Anthony Del Pedro. Quell played his first friendly against Adelaide United on August 23 at Hindmarsh Stadium, coming off at half-time. Coach Mehmet Durakovic rated his performance as phenomenal, and went on to say Harry is really a professional footballer, and should be ready for October 8. Quell made his first appearance in the 2011 Euro 12 A League season in a 0 a Euro 0 draw against Sydney FC on October 8 in front of an attendance of 40,000 at Etihad Stadium. Quell scored his first goal for the victory from a penalty against Gold Coast United on Saturday, 26 November 2011 at AAMI Park, Melbourne, after teammate Archie Thompson was brought down in the box in the first minute. On December 31, 2011 at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane, Quell scored his second goal in the fourth minute from a cracking shot outside of the box. After a slow start to his A-League first season, he started to get his talented form back resulting in a few best-on-ground performances. His fourth goal came from a free kick just outside the box against Gold Coast United in Launceston, Tasmania on February 1, 2012. His goal wasn't enough to seal the game as Melbourne conceded a late goal in the last minute from Gold Coast's Mike Heelthwaite to end in a 1-1 a Euro 1 draw. He scored his fifth goal against Central Coast Mariners on February 10 from a cracking volley in the box which helped Melbourne get a crucial 2-1 a Euro 1 win over the top side. It allowed Melbourne victory a hope of making the finals with six games remaining. On February 18, Quell scored two goals at the Suncorp Stadium to give Melbourne a hope of drawing against Brisbane Roar in a classic 3 a Euro 2 loss. He was taken off in the 77 minute which resulted in Melbourne victory having a few less chances of scoring. He has scored three goals from two matches at Suncorp Stadium. Quell did not continue with the club after his first season and returned to Europe to be closer to his move there a Euro and a Euro law as she battled cancer. Algarafa, on April 6, 2013, Quell signed to Algarafa in the Qatar Stars League for the remainder of the 2012-13 season as an injury replacement for Mark Brissiano. Quell made his debut on April 7 as a substitute against Al Saad. Quell finished his third and final game of the season in Qatar with his only goal, against Qatar SC on April 18. With the current terms of his contractual commitments to Algarafa completed, Quell was seen back in Melbourne around 48 hours later, with his future career uncertain. Melbourne Heart, 
In June 2013 it was announced that Quell would play for Melbourne Heart in the 2013-2014 A-League season. Following the first game of the season against Melbourne Victory Quell was diagnosed with whiplash, ruling him out for three weeks. In training for his Round 5 return Quell suffered an ankle injury. On March 25, it was announced that Quell would retire from professional football at the end of the A-League season. His last game was on 12 April against Western Sydney Wanderers. Retirement, on March 26, 2014, Quell announced his retirement from professional football at the age of 35. International career Quell became the youngest player to dow copyright but for the Australian national team when he played against Chile on April 24, 1996, aged 17 years and 7 months. In November 1997, Quell was selected to play for Australia in the country's 1998 FIFA World Cup qualifying game against Iran. At the Azadi Stadium in Tehran, in front of an estimated crowd of 100,000, Quell scored his first ever goal for his country and gave Australia a 1 0 0 lead. Iran eventually drew level and the game resulted in a 1 0 1 draw, which set up a tense return game in Melbourne. A then record crowd for a football match in Australia of 85,513 a euro at the Melbourne Cricket Ground a euro witnessed the second leg of the World Cup qualifier against Iran, as well as Quell's second goal. The Soxaroos eventually stretched their lead to two goals but Iran fought back and scored two vital away goals to finish the game to a euro two and qualify for the 1998 World Cup in France on away goals. 2006 World Cup on November 16, 2005, Australia qualified for the 2006 FIFA World Cup after they beat Uruguay. It was the first time Australia had qualified for the World Cup since 1974 when it was held in West Germany. Quell was considered instrumental in the Soxaroos defeat of Uruguay, turning the course of the match after he came on as a substitute. He scored the first penalty for Australia in the deciding penalty shootout which they went on to win for a Euro 2. Quell played in Australia's opening game of the 2006 World Cup against Japan in Kaiserslautern. He did not start for Australia in their second group match against Brazil but again came on as a substitute, missing an early opportunity when Brazilian goalkeeper Dida punched the ball out dangerously. Quell was reported to FIFA by referee Marcus Merck for verbal abuse after the match but he escaped being sanctioned. Quell scored Australia's second goal in the 79th minute against Croatia to equal the score at 2 a Euro 2 and qualify for the round of 16 for the first time. Australia only needed a draw to qualify for the round of 16. He was also awarded Man of the Match for his performance, which made him the second Australian to win the Man of the Match award at a World Cup after Tim Cahill who had won the award earlier in the tournament for his performance against Japan. Due to suspected gout. Quell was unable to play against Italy in the knockout stage, which Australia lost 1 0 0 and saw Australia eliminated from the 2006 FIFA World Cup. 2007 Asian Cup Quell did not play for the national team for a year following the World Cup, and made his national team comeback in a friendly against Singapore on June 30, 2007. The match was Australia's last before the 2007 Asian Cup and Quell came on as a substitute in the 65th minute. Scoring his eighth international goal and providing a cross for the final goal in a 3-0 victory. Quell was a key part of the Australian squad for the Asian Cup. Quell scored his ninth international goal for Australia in a 4-0 win over Thailand in the Asian Cup. After the group stage, in the quarter-final against Japan. Quell was sent on to the pitch to replace Mark Vidyakal in the 61st minute, in a 1-0-1 draw. A penalty shootout was required to break the deadlock and Quell's first penalty shot for Australia was stopped. Australia ultimately lost the shootout and were eliminated from the Asian Cup, 2010 World Cup, qualification. Quell did not play either of Australia's first two matches against Qatar and China. Quell was made captain for Australia's qualifier against Iraq at Suncorp Stadium on June 1, 2008. He scored the only goal with a header in the 47th minute as Australia won 1 0 0. Quell also scored the third goal against Qatar in Australia's 3 0 1 win to put them into the final qualification round. 
in a World Cup qualifier warm-up game against the Netherlands, he scored a penalty won by Joshua Kennedy. Australia went on to win 2 a Euro 1 with Quell playing a vital part for the national team in the first half. Australia then played Uzbekistan, winning 2 a Euro 0 with Quell scoring a penalty. Finals, Quell did not play in Australia's opening game of the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa, a 4 a Euro 0 loss to Germany. After the loss, Quell said that the morale of the team remained high, ahead of a clash against Ghana. During the game against Ghana on June 19, Quell was sent off for blocking a goal by handling the ball. Standing on the goal line, Quell attempted to block the ball from entering the goal net with his chest, however the ball ricocheted off his arm. He received a straight red card for the offence on the 24-minute. Asamo Gyan went on to score the resulting penalty and the game was drawn 1 Euro 1, severely damaging Australia's hopes of progressing past the group stage. This was the 150th red card issued in a World Cup game. Quell denied rumours that he was behind a supposed rift in the Socceroos camp. After the game Quell said that he was devastated by the decision made by referee Roberto Rossetti and felt that the red card killed his World Cup dream. 2011 Asian Cup, Harry Quell started in all of the Socceroos matches in the 2011 AFC Asian Cup, and scored three times for the green and gold in the Qatar-based tournament. His first goal came in Australia's first match, against India, with a left-footed shot from outside the penalty area. Quell's second goal came in Australia's quarter-final match against Iraq with a header in the 118th minute in extra time, which gave Australia a 1-0 win and put them into the semi-finals of the Asian Cup for the first time in Australia's history. Quell continued his fine form in the semi-final against Uzbekistan by opening the scoring in the first five minutes, helping his side to a 6-0 win and progress to the final, where they were beaten 1-0 by Japan. Personal life, Quell was born in Smithfield, Sydney. Quell is married to English soap actress Sheeri Murphy, whom he met at the Majestic Nightclub in Leeds in 2000. The couple married in Las Vegas on May 24, 2002 and have four children, son Taylor and daughters Ruby, Matilda and Dolly. As of May 2008, Quell has become the face of Australian men's fashion brand, Politix. He advocated the introduction of Western Sydney A-League expansion team Sydney Rovers FC, having grown up in Smithfield and Sydney's West. He is also a supporter of the Canterbury Bulldogs rugby league team. Career statistics, as of March 16, 2014. Club, International. International goals, honours, Club, Leeds United, FA Youth Cup, 1996 a Euro 97, Liverpool, FA Cup, 2005 a Euro 06, FA Community Shield, 2006, UEFA Champions League, 2004 a Euro 05, UEFA Super Cup, 2005, Galatasaray, Turkish Super Cup, 2008 International Australia Office U-17 Championship, 1995, Office U-20 Championship, 1997, OFC Nations Cup, 2004, Individual, PFA Team of the Year, 2000, PFA Young Player of the Year, 1999 A Euro 00, Oceania. Footballer of the Year, 1999, 2001. 2003, AFC Asian Team of the Year, 2011, References External links, Melbourne Victory Profile, Profile at football-lineups.com, Profile at galatasaray.org, Profile at ofkistory.net, Profile at osfootball.net, Statistics at tff.org, Harry Quell a Euro FIFA competition record, Harry Quell statistics and biography at footballdatabase.com, Harry Quell at national-football-teams.com, Harry Quell career stats at Soxabase, Harry Quell at the Internet Movie Database, Politics a Euro Australian clothing brand featuring Harry Quell, Galatasaray fans chanting song dedicated to Harry Quell before a match in Istanbul.